Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel, this is Ro and today I have some contemplations on anger I want to share with you. First of all, we have been taught to repress most of our negative feelings like anger and sadness when they are in fact so vital and natural and normal for us to experience and also to express. And anger, it feels sometimes scary, it feels wrong because, well, we are used to anger displayed in violent ways perhaps, you know, like verbal abuse, physical abuse, those are unhealthy manifestations of anger and that usually comes when you have been repressing all that anger and helplessness and fear and it turns and grows bigger and bigger and you can't really control it anymore. To avoid that to happen individually and collectively, we really need to acknowledge the anger when it just it's just starting, when you feel like someone is crossing your boundaries or you feel there are injustices in the world. I think anger tells you what really matters to you because otherwise you wouldn't feel angry about something. In my case, for example, I get angry when someone doesn't respect my freedom. That could be my freedom of expression, of speech, and also when people hurt others, hurt animals. I am vegan, so I get really furious when people simply are so unkind and violent towards nature and animals. I love my anger, I love getting angry. <laughs> Yeah, it might sound paradoxical, but if you harness that anger in a positive way, that's how you create change and transformation in the world. You have seen through history all those movements and revolutions, they have been fueled by anger. And you know what happens when our anger doesn't have a healthy outlet, when we can express it safely? We turn that anger inwards, so we feel bad about ourselves. We feel helpless and that you know builds up into depression because depression is like anger turned towards yourself so what we can do with this energy how can we transmute it into something different how can we learn from it i have a few tips for you so i invite you to try them and see what works and what doesn't because each of us is unique first i like to journal I like to say, okay, this is, you know, infuriating to me, I am annoyed, and I write that down, or I do some intuitive art and, you know, do some scribbles, angry scribbles, <laughs> or this, for example, I love to use my body to express things, so when something is angering me, like, or I go outside and I scream, <laughs> or I do uh, workouts, I love to exercise in the morning, I feel like that relaxes me a lot. Perhaps I don't c come across as an angry person usually. I Friends see me as very optimistic and happy, but it is because I also give myself time to acknowledge that anger and sadness, and I'm going to make another video for sadness especially. But let's continue with anger. <laughs> and talk to people, be honest with your feelings. If you are getting angry at someone, you know, be honest with yourself and see what is really bothering you. If it's if it's something something projected, or if that re that person is really doing something bad to you or to others, so keep them accountable. I hope that helps, and please tell me in the comments what makes you angry, what matters to you so much that you're ready to fight for it in subtle or loud ways. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back soon. Love you so much. Be angry, be happy, be you. If you enjoy my content, please consider supporting me with a donation via Ko-fi or Patreon. We have exclusive yoga and energy healing classes on Saturdays.